What's going on YouTube Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. Before we get started, whether you're new to my channel or you've been around for a while, I do have Patreon. You can check it out uh, down in the description. There is a link. Um, I've got uh, some cool stickers like the Metal Complex logo sticker and the Metal Complex Night Helmet sticker that are available at some of the lower tiers. I also have available at all tiers, even the $1 tier, access to my once a week Patreon exclusive content, which is a lot of fun. If you want to see what that's all about, go ahead and use the link down in the description. Any new patrons right now will receive a free shout out if they want it. So if you want me to plug your YouTube channel or your Instagram, or you want me to say something funny or ridiculous, that's fine as long as it's appropriate for YouTube. The support of course would mean the world to me. Let's go ahead and get in this box. So this box was sent by my good buddy Kyle. Uh, Kyle uh, uh, also sent me the Shamwari and uh, a bunch of other really amazing knives on the channel. Um, he's a big part of this channel. I really, really appreciate uh, uh, his support. Thanks so much Kyle for sending me this stuff. He's lending me these knives and I'm sure you guys can tell by the um, thumbnail exactly why I'm so excited about getting into this box. By the way, if you want your own Rainbow Lady of the Sea for your own unboxing adventures or adventures of any type, there is of course a link down in the description that you can use to get your hands on one. Um, there's also links for um, you know more expensive knives and knives that I really uh, like and recommend to people. Sorry, I'm moving my mat around here. Um, and then some of my favorite budget knives of all time as well as some knife maintenance items and just a whole bunch of stuff down there. So whatever your itch is, um, take a look at my description. There's something down there for everybody. Oh boy, I am so excited to get in here. We have two boxes. Yes, yes we do. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna open the the heavier one first. Be and, and it'll you guys will understand why. Or the larger one. I forgot. There's a there's a small one and uh, a large one. So these are both. Hinder boxes. Yeah, there we go. Let me move this other stuff off the table so we got plenty of room here to take a look. Let's open up this one first. Large one. Oh boy. Whoa. That is a nice one there, Kyle. Oh man. So for anybody who's not familiar with the Hinder line, this is a full track. Um, and uh, a lot of you are like, what? You've already reviewed the full track. Um, yeah, I have. I have. This guy was actually sent so that I can do a comparison with what's in this box, but we'll take a moment to appreciate this because this is gonna appear in a bunch of different videos that I have planned for the channel. Um, really cool. The full track, I believe, in this form is gonna be discontinued, the full titanium form with the G10 inlays. So cool to get my hands on one, um, one more time before they are gone. And this guy is actually the main, this is the new thing for the channel, kind of. What? That's a half track. You've already reviewed the half track. Not this version. This is the new, I believe, USA made blade exclusive Warncliffe half track. And this, <laughs> this thing is awesome. Uh, this, uh, the Warncliffe is, it's hinders Warncliffe, but instead of their traditional straight, because on a, on a uh, three inch or an XM18, uh, the Warncliffe laid flat. If you guys you know want a good reference point, check out my video on my Hinder XM18 Gen 6 Fatty Worn Cliff. You can see that the line uh, for the blade actually follows the same line as the handle straight here. But on this half track, they've got it sort of tilted up, which is interesting. I've, I've been curious about this, how um, much better uh, that choil would be with the blade sort of angling that way. And you know what? It is better. Um, that's the first thing that I noticed on the, on the other half track, which I've already reviewed or on the standard half track, um, the, uh, that, that area right there is, it's a choil, but it's kind of uh, inaccessible. I don't want to say inaccessible, but this is much more accessible. So this is cool. This one's been anodized. This is a, uh, they call this a battle bronze to match the working finish. For those of you who are curious, that's what hinders working finish looks like versus there's stone wash. You can see there's a little bit more reflectivity in the stone wash and it's more matte on the um, working finish. But anyways, uh, the battle bronze, generally with a working finish, you get a darker matte anodizing if you, you know, find one that's anodized. Um, there's also, you know, non-anodized versions of it. And then if you do a stone, if you get a stone wash blade, generally you'll get a more stone wash, more, you know, bright, more reflective anodizing uh, on the other side. But 
This is super cool and I cannot wait to do a comparison between um, the full track and the half track, absolutely. This video is a little bit dark, sorry about that. Um, guys, that's gonna be pretty much it for today's unboxing. Kyle, I am super excited about these. Thank you so much for letting me take a look. Um, but uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on this Metal Complex logo right here and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching everybody and have a great day.